Saints? He busted up his shoulder in late December. Saints fans tell the team no on acquiring Drew Brees. For that to happen the last game of the season, I mean, it was probably your worst nightmare as a quarterback. For that to happen to your throwing shoulder, and I'm just in utter shock because I feel my shoulder is, is, is dislocated. I mean, it's out of socket. It's, it's just hanging. I mean, my shoulder's stuck like this. And I just thought to myself. Well, you came off feel like I know. I couldn't move it. It was stuck like that. And I just thought to myself, oh, my God. What has just happened? For the next couple hours, it was one of the scariest times you know I've had. Dr. James Andrews in Alabama operated on Drew Brees' shoulder. After the surgery was over, and I'm still kind of groggy, but you know I got to say, hey doc, how'd the surgery go? And he says, uh, if I did a hundred times, I couldn't do it as good as I just did it. <laughs> I tell you what, that's exactly what you want to hear. It was Chargers GM AJ Smith who cut Drew Brees loose. There's no resentment towards AJ. You know, he had drafted Philip Rivers. I just always got the feeling that they were just waiting for something to happen so that they could put him in. If Marty Schottenheimer had his way, would you be in San Diego? Absolutely. Absolutely. Put me on that train to New Orleans. What it came down to was who, who believes in me? Who, who believes that I'm going to come back? New Orleans, there was no doubt. 100%, I was their guy. My shoulder, I know that it's not as strong now as it's going to be a month from now. How strong or two is it? months from now. How strong is it? It's, it's strong enough to make every throw I need to make. He's in here watching film Tuesdays, you know, till 10 at night. And if he's got an idea, I'm anxious to hear it. Uh, he's very intelligent. He's making good decisions. He understands how to protect the football. Uh, Except for the Raven game. Right. What's the most shocking thing that he has done so far in eight football games that you quietly said to yourself? I think it's off the field. Off you know, the field? Yeah, I think it's off the field. He's Every just like he's just like the guys. One of the guys. He, he's one of the guys. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to just year in and year out be a powerhouse in this city? It could it's be great. a year-round Mardi Gras. Yeah. I think that we're all serving kind of a greater purpose than just playing football, trying to win football games. I think uh, what it does for this city, just the hope uh, that it brings people. This is an opportunity that doesn't come along for everybody in their lifetime. I think some people would only dream of an opportunity like this, and it's happening. Last week, I told Howie he could shave my head. I was so sure the Saints would be in the playoffs oh, that oh, if man. you don't make the playoffs, he can <laughs> shave my head on that set. I just want you to look into the camera and assure me in this great city that my hair is safe. We won't let you down. Oh, God bless we you. We won't let you down. <laughs> New Orleans Saints fans say yes to Drew Brees. He's a man of his word. I'm Terry Bradshaw, and I approve this message. We won't let you down. God bless 